in Veronia. <coughs> On behalf of the brilliant team at Biggin and Scott Knox, my name is Michael McKenney. It is my absolute pleasure, it's my privilege to be assisting you here today with your obvious real estate endeavours. Now spread throughout the crowd and many of my friendly Biggin and Scott colleagues who are all here on hand, on deck, ready to assist you with anything that you may need. So throughout today's proceedings, should you require any buying assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to them. They'll be more than glad to lend a hand. Now for those of you who are determined to be our new owner, I wish you courage with your endeavours. Just bid with confidence knowing that I'm simply here to assist you and guide you in achieving those real estate ambitions. Before we commence the bidding, there are a few things I do need to touch on, more namely, the terms and conditions with which we sell and of course the rules. Now this auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting any bids or offers for a property after it has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors do have a reserve price and as the auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits false bids, prohibits major disruptions by bidders, prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and it does provide fines for this conduct. The rules that permit vendor bids, the words I'll use during this auction to indicate making bid on behalf of our vendor are simply vendor bid and by law only I as your auctioneer can make a vendor bid. Now the, high, the highest bidder here today will be the successful purchaser subject to our vendor's reserve price. If you are that lucky one here today, your obligations will be simply twofold. Number one, be required to autograph the contract of sale acknowledging the terms, conditions and of course the, the price of today's auction. Number two, you'll be required to pay a deposit equivalent to a slender five or 10% of the final sale value with the balance due at settlement being a very, very flexible 60 to 90 days time from today's date. Now, made of a, sorry, the chattel included in today's sale uh, are all fixed floor coverings, window furnishings and electrical light fittings of a permanent nature as you have inspected them. Now, made available for your perusal is this auction documentation which states the land we are selling here today is more formally described on certificate of title volume 10980 folio 660 being lot six on plan subdivision 527228, otherwise known to you and I as 4 at 41 Stewart Street in Baronia, but known to a very, very select and fortunate few as home. Seeing as this documentation has been made available for not only the last half an hour, but throughout the marketing campaign, I'm taking it to be fully read and fully understood. <coughs> well, folks, it really is a fantastic opportunity that stands before you here today. A property with this much character and this much charm, they don't become available very often. They don't become available every Saturday. <coughs> Rarely do we find homes in this particular pocket of Baronia. I mean, Stewart Street, arguably one of the most highly sought after streets in Baronia. And what we have is a single level, a low maintenance, three bedroom home. One of this magnitude certainly appeals to a wide range of buyers. Whether you're a first home buyer looking to enter the property market for the first time and break in, whether you're a downsizer and you want to, you're downsizing from a larger family home but you don't want to sacrifice comfort, or whether you're an investor looking to begin or even add to your current property portfolio, this home will suit your needs. To the buyer here today, you're purchasing a home that ticks the absolute holy grail of boxes when it comes to purchasing real estate. Of course, the one that we all know being location, location, location. At your fingertips, you have a kaleidoscope of cafes, restaurants and hotspots. We have numerous public transport options if driving is something that you can't do or that you would rather not do. And of course, we have a schooling belt that undoubtedly stacks the deck in your child's favour for their future. As a home like this one is truly special, and I think it can only be described as a piece of real estate magic. Can I make just one suggestion to you? Don't let this one vanish before your eyes. <laughs> Remember folks, interest rates are still at extremely low levels. I've never actually seen a better time to invest in good quality real estate, invest in your future, and what better way than here today? It is on that note, I submit it to you, in your hands, four at 41 Stewart Street in Baronia. In your hands now, calling for opening bids, opening offers. Where do we see a fair and reasonable start? Now you'll figure out where do we go. Quite happy to start at any reasonable figure that you like. I know the, uh, the price guide that we've been quoting throughout the campaign has been that 600 to 60. So you might happy to start at the lower end of that range. A gentle, conservative start to kick it off. Should be an absolute sea of arms at that sort of level. Do we see 600 anywhere at all? I can start it off myself with a vendor bid. I don't usually like to, but I most definitely can. Inviting anyone in, kick it off at 600,000. Well guys, you, you hesitate, I don't for a second. Well, I'll, I'll kick it off with a vendor bid of $600,000. And from here, maybe we'll travel on $20,000 on the advance call, $620,000 to go. So we're at $600,000 now here, VB here with me, 
vendor bid, inviting anyone to come in at $620,000. I do understand and I certainly appreciate this is a bit of a momentous occasion. It can feel a little bit daunting to make that first move. What I do promise you is once you make that first move, you will feel a lot more relaxed. You'll be a lot more at ease with the process. Just getting over that front line is the hardest thing to do. So we're at $600,000 now. Searching to, for a mere $20,000 to go to call me six hundred and twenty. dollars So we're at $600,000 now. Once. Second call at six double zero. Third and final opportunity at six hundred thousand dollars. It's a final reminder with uh, with how auctions work in the state of Victoria. If the property is passed in on a vendor bid, that means it essentially becomes open slather, and there is a huge amount of conditional interest on this home today. What that means is people cannot bid under auction conditions. So there is interest of, a, of subject to a finance nature or building and pest things of that sort. So there is a lot of interest conditionally post auction if this were to get passed in on a vendor bid. If I do pass it in to someone who has actually made a live bid, they get the first and exclusive rights to negotiate with our owners post auction to see what their reserve is. So what does that mean? It's in your best interest to be a bidder, to be the highest bidder here today. Even if I do pass it in to you, you'll have that first and exclusive rights to negotiate post auction. I'm going to call it down three more times. We're at $600,000. We'd love to see $20,000 on the advance. Once, twice, third and final opportunity at $600,000. Well, I can only imagine you haven't all, haven't all come out to come and stand here and watch me call an auction. Um, what I'll do is I'll place my second and last, I won't be placing another vendor bid uh, after this one. I'll place it at $625,000, inviting anyone else to come in for rises of 20 from here. I'm going to call it three more times after this vendor bid, and if, if there is no further interest, I will successfully pass the property in, and I'm sure you'll see a sold figure on that signboard in the, in the next, I'd say, 24 to 48 hours. So at $625,000, vendor bid with me, inviting a rise of $20,000 anywhere at all. As I said, if there, is, if there is no further advance, I will be successfully passing the property in. Once at $625,000. Twice called at $625,000. Third and final opportunity at $625,000. Well, folks, you, you let me know choice. I will, what I will do is I will successfully pass the property in. If you do have interest in this home of, of a conditional nature or you just want to do things behind closed doors, I do invite you to come speak to myself, my colleagues, or anyone else here. Uh, other than that, thank you for attending uh, a beginner's production. Thanks, guys. <coughs>